Hello my YouTube friends. Today's video is sponsored by Envato Playsit, but I'll tell you more about that later. Audio can be tricky when you're live streaming. There can be a lot of issues. Wait a second, my audio was out of sync there, right? Yeah, well that's annoying and I'm gonna show you how to fix that along with loud screeching, echoing, static or popping, and delays. And those are just a few of the problems that you might encounter. Today I'm gonna tell you the five things you should check first to fix your audio issues on your live streams. So you know what? Let's get to it! Likes and comments are super easy things that you can do to push this video to a wider audience. So take a second down below and let me know how I'm doing and hit that subscribe button. It's totally free and it really does help me continue to make content that helps you. So thanks. Delay and lag are the most common audio complaints on live streams. These issues are 90% due to encoding lag and computer performance. Now the five things I'm gonna show you today build on each other and will help you troubleshoot 99% of all your streams audio issues. So you're going to want to watch all the way to the end to make sure you get all the steps. The first thing you should check for audio issues is the stats window. So while you're live streaming, you go into OBS, you go to view, and then you're going to go to stats. And it's bringing up this stats window right here. You can see I brought this up while I was live streaming. And it shows you the CPU usage that you have over here on the left in the top pane. You have your frames per second, the average amount of time it takes to render a frame. And then you have your render and and your encoding lag. And this is going to be shown by frames drop. In this case, I had 21 frames drop from render lag and zero frames drop from encoding lag. If this is bad for you, one of these will be in red. So now our real options are to go ahead in and resize our stream so that we can actually stream in a proper way. So we're gonna go into settings, we're gonna go into video, and we'll just scale this down to 720. It's okay, we're gonna be all right even at 720. You can pick 30 or 60 frames per second, whichever you want. If you wanna try 720 at 60, that's fine too. Now you're gonna go through and resize your assets in your stream to 720. That means your overlays and your transitions and anything that you use that is previously in 1080 you want to resize it to 720 and then you want to optimize it which means running it through some sort of thing that converts it into webm i have videos on how this is done and you can check it out right up here and it'll take you to show you how to optimize your stream and this should fix your audio issue if you're having laggy audio or something like that the second place you have to check to fix the issue is your usb bandwidth setup usb buses have a limited amount of bandwidth and what that means is there's only so many things that you can plug into them and send through them before they get bogged down because there's just too much information this can become a problem if you're using a separate camera and a separate microphone. If both of them are plugged into the same USB bus, you can definitely have sync issues because the USB system just doesn't have the bandwidth to actually be able to handle it. So what you want to do is make sure that you plug your camera and your microphone into completely different buses on your PC. And the way you can do this is if you have a laptop, one will probably be on one side and one will be on the other. Or if you have a desktop, there are some USB buses is usually on the top or the front and then there is of course the USBs on the back as well and if you put your USBs in these different locations chances are they will end up on completely different buses and you won't run into a bus speed problem. A video about live streaming tools wouldn't be complete without today's sponsor Envato Placeit. I use Placeit in every live stream for my weight screen, my countdown timer, my branding bumper as well as my logo and my channel banners and even some of the overlay assets. They have everything a streamer could need all in one place. Now I created my logo in just a few minutes by choosing from one of the designs and then completely customizing everything from the color graphics and placement to the text and the fonts. And that logo can easily be added to all the videos that you can build and use in all kinds of different content that you might create for YouTube, like live or recorded. I absolutely love Envato Placeit and you will to click the link in the description below and check it out for yourself supporting the sponsors that support this channel is a great way to help me continue to make content that helps you so thanks so you've probably resolved your audio delay issues but the second common issue is feedback and echoing the third thing you should check to fix your audio problems is your headphone and guest audio settings 
If you wanna be bringing on guests, then you're going to need to use headphones. It is what it is. Not only that, but the guests that you bring on should be using headphones. And the reason why is because if the guest's audio is coming through your speakers, it's going to feed back into your microphone and this will cause echo and screeching and all that sort of stuff. And the same thing applies for your guests. If they're listening to the stream, it's feeding back into their microphone. They should be listening to you through their headphones and nothing else. They don't need to see the stream. They should be listening to you. Now, what I've done in some of my streams where the guests might need to see what's actually going on is whatever guest application I'm using, I share my screen with them so that they can see what the stream looks like. They don't need to hear it because they're listening and having a conversation with me. You need to make it clear to your guests that they need to be wearing headphones and they do not need to be listening to the stream. This will solve like almost all of your echoing and screeching problems that you're having on your live streams. And if that's not the culprit, we do need to dig a bit further. The fourth thing we need to check is other audio sources that are on the computer. Here are the two main offenders that can cause echo or feedback on your live stream. So right here, I have a live stream running and this right here needs to be muted. You can't accidentally have this going and not be muting your live stream right here. If this is not muted and you're capturing your desktop audio or it's coming through your speakers, it's going to cause all kinds of echo and problems on your stream so make sure it's muted in the same vein if you are in your live stream like we see right here and the stream is not muted or your guest stream is not muted right here it is also going to cause all of the same kind of problems and this is the case for any audio that's going to play on your computer if it's not coming through your headphones and you're capturing desktop audio it's going to cause problems make sure that everything that you don't want to hear or is not part of your live stream is muted on your computer and the computers of all of your guests and this will solve a large portion of people's echoing audio problems and everything else. There are also miscellaneous issues that some people experience with audio like static or audio clicking and popping stuff. The fifth thing that you need to check is the condition of your equipment. If you're getting crackling and popping and that sort of thing through your microphone, you really need to check your actual equipment. Usually, if something has a USB input, you wanna check and make sure wiggle around the port that it goes into. See that it's not loose. And then you wanna check the cable that you're actually using. USB cables go bad. So you wanna check to make sure the connector it goes in is not loose or wiggly. You wanna check to make sure the cable is good. You can easily just replace these cables to try another one and that will verify whether the cable is bad. You also wanna check the USB port that you're plugging it into. For XLR microphones, it's the same deal. XLR cables go bad, they're thicker, they get bent or crimped or whatever, and sometimes they don't have a good connection, which can cause crackling. So you wanna check all the ports, the same is true on any cable. This one has the cable built right in. You know, if I'm getting crackling and popping, I wanna check to make sure that all this is loose. I wanna make sure the port I'm plugging it into is not loose or wiggly or anything like that. That's the source of a lot of crackling and popping. The other thing that you wanna do is make sure that you adjust the volume on the input in OBS. If you're getting peaking, that could cause crackles and all sorts of popping and that sort of thing. So check your equipment and check your level. Checking those two things should resolve all the crackling and popping and static and anything like that that you're going to get on your microphones. Now with this information, you should be able to troubleshoot any audio issue in OBS pretty easily. But you may be experiencing audio lag and this could be due to the fact that you have a lot of processing set up on the audio. And if that's the case, you can try this to resync your audio. Okay, so your video and audio are coming into OBS through the same connection. We're gonna right click on it and we're gonna go to filters and then we're gonna click the plus and we're going to go to render delay and click OK. And you're going to do this if your video is coming before your audio. So in other words, your video is processing faster than your audio for some reason. And you just use this right here to add a delay to that video so that it lines up with your audio. So if you're hearing your audio before the video is finished processing or your audio is fast, we need to go down here in our audio mixer and we're gonna click on this little gear button and we're gonna to go to advanced audio properties. And right here we can select the audio that we need to delay to line up with the video. And then we can just adjust this by milliseconds and you're going to be able to line up your audio. Now if your computer is having any kind of problems 
Needless to say, this isn't going to fix it because those problems are going to be inconsistent. Sometimes the delay will be shorter or longer. But if your delay is due to the fact that you're putting some sort of audio processing or video processing on your output, well, then either of those could be delayed by a few milliseconds and this will adjust those properly. If you wanna see how to create an awesome stinger transition for your live stream, you should check this video out right here. Big thanks to the channel sponsors. There are links below in the description so you can check them out. Supporting the sponsors helps me continue to make content that helps you. And I couldn't possibly do this without them or you. So thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.